Once you open the Muse app, you have the option to either host or join a session. To join a session, you need a link from the session host and a password if they have one. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll host our own session. First, you'll see an overview settings page where you can change your audio, video or other settings. For audio inputs, select the microphone and instruments you would like to use for this session. This can be a talkback microphone, your computer's built-in microphone, or an instrument connected to an audio interface, etc. You can select multiple audio inputs, choose mono and stereo channels from your device, and you can also change the audio quality. Next, select the correct speakers and camera. Play Test Sound will produce a noise so you can verify that your audio is working and the correct speakers are selected. If you want to share a screen during your session, you can also do that below. To share audio straight from your DAW to your collaborators, you'll need to download at least one third-party audio cable to take advantage of Muse's features. We recommend VB Cable, which is free on their website. Add the Muse plugin to the master track of your DAW and select VB Audio Cable under Share DAW Audio in Muse. To share audio straight from your computer during your session, such as Spotify playback, YouTube or computer files, select a device under Share Computer Audio. Once the device is selected, make sure loopback is enabled and switch your computer's sound output to the same device you selected. You can click this button to have Muse change your output for you or you can do it manually in your computer settings. On the left menu, you have more settings options. For example, in the session tab, you can change the session name or add a password. Once you're happy with your settings, click the start session button to begin. You can always return to the settings page and change any of these settings during your session by clicking the settings button at the top right. When you're in the session, you can invite collaborators by sharing the session link, or you can type in their username. You can open this pop-up at any time by clicking the Collaborators button. Once someone follows the session link, they can join from the Muse app or they have the option to join as a guest from the browser. Guests will have limited features, but this is great to have someone quickly join a listening session. Once they join, a window will pop up asking you to let them in. Now that everyone is in the session, you can capture an artist's vocal performance, drag and drop to the chat box to share files, record remote MIDI performances, share your screen, or tweak a session together on one DAW through screen control. You can also collapse and pin the Muse window to the top so you never lose track of the session even when working in your DAW. Monitor your collaborators' signals in the sidebar by muting, soloing, or adjusting the volume fader. And finally, expand your network in the Muse Community tab by discovering new collaborators. Congratulations, you're now ready to get to work on Muse.